Good morning guys! It is a Tuesday morning. Uh, it's actually uh, almost 6.30 so I have to get my jacket on and leave in just a little bit. Um, I have, um, I got up at 5 this morning. Um, I got stuck in Facebook world for 40 minutes because I was super, super tired. Um, then I sat down with my cross stitching and watched some YouTube. I uh, felt the fan case back from their hiatus. Yay! Uh, I watched Bailey J's uh, vlogging channel. Um, I still have a few other channels that I want to um, kind of um, catch up on this morning, but uh, I'm going to do that when I'm out and about. Um, I um, uh, stitched. I stitched about 50 stitches. I would have stitched more if it wasn't for that it was um, kind of setup time today. So um, I am um, starting a new set of columns. Um, I stitch somewhere between uh, 20 and 30 stitches on my columns um, in the width. Um, so all my rows are somewhere between 20 and 30 stitches wide usually uh, and uh, yesterday I the last thing I did I actually set up a little bit longer than I should just because I wanted to finish my column and today I set up a new column uh, and that always takes a little bit longer time as every thread needs to be fastened um, new, new there's a lot of new colors uh, little old colors are new colors um, if you are uh, I am parking I've been parking for a very long time or like a year maybe I really enjoy it because it makes it go faster I thought um, I think I didn't start parking when parking got the, like big because then I stitched in hand and stitching in hand and parking doesn't really work or I, I know people who does it that it work for but for me it wouldn't have worked uh, but since uh, starting to use my frame which I've done for like two three years I um, really enjoy, I, I actually um, tried it again, uh, I think um, Heaven and Earth's um, group had a couple of challenges, I love challenges, I love challenges, but Heaven and Earth had a couple of challenges and one of the challenges was to uh, park for so many stitches or for a month or how it was and I decided well um, I need to try this. So I did. Uh, I thought I wouldn't like it, but I really, really enjoy it. Uh, it makes confetti stitching much, much quicker. Uh, I used to do um, cross-country stitching per page. Uh, and one of the things that I discovered doing that was that, one, I had a tendency to miss stitches, which meant I had to go back and stitch them and um, that which mean that I would use more thread but also that I need to fasten more threads which means that I would have a thicker background or backside um, but also some of the parts of my head is very confetti heavy and those I started to have issues getting the needle through uh, the holes because I had so many threads uh, fastened on the backside uh, with parking that rarely happens you can actually it's easier to kind of um even out the um the fastening of the threads um so yeah and and i started and i really loved it by the way if you haven't seen it i have removed my um earrings um i bought some 14 carat uh plated uh disney earrings before we went to disney um and I knew this was happen would happen, and that is 14 karat gold plating isn't that thick, and it will kind of get removed um, after time. It kind of, and apparently it was time because I started getting sores in my ears, and that is because I um, I'm allergic to um, nickel. So uh, no, no more of those Disney earrings. There are things you can do. You can paint them with. Uh, nail polish you can do those kinds of things however that will only prolong them for a certain amount of time and you have to redo it all the time 
so uh, I am going to look into finding some more um, uh, like 18 karat gold that isn't plated but is, is gold through them um, just so that I can actually use them without getting sores. It, it was um, a couple of days ago that I, I was kind of fiddling with my ears and I'm like it's all wet and then I removed it and it was uh, a sore. So I'm letting it heal and then I'm gonna add back I think my rings or something um, but yeah mm. that's how life is well I have taught your ears off and I need to leave so uh, good morning guys I hope you have an awesome day one of the things that surprised me about the US is that it's always very dark uh, everywhere and to comparison and especially like uh, in the in the areas like at Disney when it got dark outside, it was really, really dark. Um, like the, the lights didn't connect to each other, so it had patches of darkness that was just completely black. Uh, even though it was just a couple of steps, it was still really, really dark. Um, and I'm walking on a street, a back street, in Stockholm right now. And it is dark outside because it's not even 8 o'clock in the morning. And it's still super light. I still get regular lights all the way so yeah that's that's the thing that always kind of confounded me about america that you don't light up the streets and also uh, by lighting up the streets you actually reduce crime rates <laughs> and that is proven because people don't want to be seen when they do stupid things isma has been hiding 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 Christopher's parents uh, got us this kitty tunnel for the kitties for Christmas and Gizmo has been loving it by the way I got a little kitty here that we just wanted to say hi <laughs> so uh, yeah it's kind of fun because you buy all of the toys for the kitties and they it's a hit, hit or miss if they like them or not um we have started to figure out what they like but in the beginning um they got a bunch of toys that they just don't won't play with i uh, leia likes these uh kikaroos i think they have a little bit of catnip in them but um i don't know she likes kicking at them just like they're made for and Gizmo um, likes things with bells. He loves things with bells. And also he likes to crawl into areas. He loves boxes, but apparently he likes tunnels too. <laughs> when I got home, guys, uh, Chris was here working. So um, I sat down here uh, just uh, playing with some cards. I actually made a card. Um, which I'm gonna show you. Uh, this is going to be probably be a part of a, a video coming up here. So, oh, I don't know if you can see. Here it is. Well, this this is the card. It has some texture. Ah. Wow, that's the card anyhow. Put it next to my head, then it will focus kind of sort of yeah <laughs> that's the card i'm gonna make a video on it uh or I, I did record a video on it um while i was doing it but it's gonna be one of a couple of different cards in the video so i um i need to kind of figure out how the rest of the card is going to look uh i feel like i am redoing the same a layout over and over again and i think that was one of the things that kind of stopped me in our tracks and got me a little bit tired the other one is that I'm I'm still having issues breathing. I don't know what it is. Uh, it's not like I'm not getting air. It's just that it's a little bit heavier than it usually is. Uh, and I get very out of breath as soon as I walk around and do stuff. But yeah. That's life. Um, it will get better soon. Something will happen and it will get better soon. Um, but... Um, when I done the card, uh, I was super tired and I sat down to stitch and I never really left the sofa. Well, we went and bought some food um, 
just went to the grocery store we as i said i think i said previously uh we are opting to try to um eat more at home um for both health sake and money sake so we really needed rice because we were running out of that and a few other stuff so we went and got that got back and then we just uh cooked some rice and i had some leftovers we're gonna have leftovers for like one or two more days <laughs> so yeah uh there is a lot of Swedish bolognese right now but yeah um that's just the day it, it's been um i did a 803 stitches um I've been very tired and very exhausted so this is when I kind of get lost in the mobile phone and stuff like that and I've been watching uh, different things on the TV so yeah that's been the day not very exciting and I could probably have recorded like a bunch of clips but I haven't I'm sorry <laughs> um I don't know I think I think a part of me, uh, this happens all the time, I think a part of me just, um, I watched um, one of the um, artists that was in, she had a vacation in Florida her herself too, and she's been kind of placing out the Florida vlogs a little bit more than I did, um, like you still haven't gotten everyone from me yet, uh, but I feel like she does so much better job than I do um, my videos isn't good enough and that is kind of pushing me down and I'm already very um, I'm already very low today because of my medication um, so yeah I'm, I'm, I'm like a, should I really continue with this because I'm I'm lousy with of it and yeah oh um, and I know that it is the the medication that is talking um i don't believe that i'm good at the work but uh i do believe that the only way to get better is to actually do it and think about what you are doing and um i know now that i didn't think about it enough i didn't have a plan and i need to have a better plan when i do vlogging and everything i do so it's not like i logically I know that I see this as something I can learn and that I have to work on it to be able to learn and while I work on it I have to continue producing videos because that is the way you work on it. Um, the videos are good enough to upload, that's how I feel, they're good enough to upload but I, I want to raise the bar like so high. Um, but there is something in me that continues to say like you're you're super bad at what you do um you're not good at what you do um you shouldn't go back to work because it doesn't you don't know what you're doing when you're there um and it's just the medication but it's it's getting to me so i kind of shut down today and I think I needed to shut down to take a breather and to understand what, what is going on. I've been kind of touching on it today, but yeah. Yeah. So yeah. Emotions. Mmm. Loads of them. And I need to go to bed. So I, as I see it, um, it can just get better. <laughs> no, I, I, I firmly believe that my life isn't bad and that I can overcome basically anything um I just have to work on it and I just have to be strong um we'll see if I'm stronger than the medication or the medication is stronger than me um uh, but the only thing that happens then is to go off the medication or add medications on top of it to stop making me feel this way um so yeah and it's not like i'm not trying to work on it i am but i'm finding myself being in a position where i haven't been in loads and loads of years because i have dealt with these things 
so I kind of know that it isn't mentally just being confused it's it's something that is messing with my hormones which is this so yeah yeah well life is better tomorrow life is better tomorrow right now I'm gonna head to bed so good night sleep tight don't let the bed bugs bite bye